Hello everyone, my name is Rick Zanotti and this is another Captivate Quick Tip from Relate. Today I'm going to save you some time and a lot of grief when you're recording your movies in Captivate. And that is by showing you how to manually control your full motion recording. You see what happens with Captivate, if you don't control full motion recording, it does it automatically. That means Captivate decides when and how to turn on full motion recording, creating a lot of small little files that you may not be able to modify later and that will increase the file size of your pieces. And you may not want all that full motion recording. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to go back into Captivate over here and we're going to start our simulation. Captivate allows us to record in many different ways. We can record um, a presentation, I'm sorry, the uh, full screen or a screen area or we can record an application. In this case I want to record an application and my PowerPoint is already selected but you see you have these choices here. Um, so we just want to select our PowerPoint screen. You can uh, select to record the whole application window, a part of that, an application region, or a custom if you want to record more than the size of the application but not quite full screen or whatever size you want. In this case we're going to stick with the uh, application window and then down here you have choices again. You can record Captivate automatically or have it record automatically. You can go into full motion recording. That means you're strictly recording a movie or you can do a manual. We're going to stick to manual. Keep in mind Captivate defaults to automatic. So we're going to record manual. Uh, we don't care about panning right now and uh, we don't want no uh, narration because I'm already talking in this recording. So when I say record, it gives us our little timer. And here we are. We are in, Ca in Captivate proper. I'm going to click on this and change that to FMR. F, M, and then R. All right. Nothing here yet is full motion. Now I am going to turn on full motion by typing in Control F9. Full motion recording is now on. And let's go into insert and let's insert a shape and let's see how about one of these so I'm going to bring that out here so there is our shape and I'm going to duplicate it by holding control and dragging and that's all I want for full motion recording I'm now going to press shift F10 and I'm sorry I hit control F10 not shift F10 so control F10 stops control F9 starts full motion recording now, for example, maybe I want to come back in here and type in full motion recording. And there you go. So we have some screens with or some slides with full motion recording and some without. I'm going to stop the recording of, of the Captivate piece. And it takes us into our Captivate file. And you notice on the first slide, we don't have full motion recording because all you see here is a mouse click. Second slide, we did some full motion recording. This is when we started it. And it continued on through this one. And it ended on the last one. So this is where we hit the control F9 and the control F10 and then it went away. So we controlled when we saw full motion. Now I'm on that slide and if you look at the timeline, the timeline shows just slide with a little line through it. That is our animation. It's right now the background of the slide. Nothing can change it. You can't edit it. So when you go into full motion recording, this is an area you can no, you can no longer edit. Keep that in mind when you go into full motion recording. It is really a movie. Other slides, you notice you'll have, uh, in this case, there really are no other objects because we just had sound on them. But we could also add captions or whatever to this if we wanted to. So again, full motion recording slides, just simply have that as a background. You can write stuff over it, but you can't modify what you've recorded. I hope that helps. Keep in mind, control F9 and control F10. Start and stop full motion recording uh, manually. For that, that's it for this episode of Captivate Quick Tips. I'm Rick Zanotti. Thanks for listening and subscribing. We will see you next time.